Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from February 5th to the 7th, 2021. Or whenever you watch this video, it's supposed to be for whenever you see it. So this is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Alrighty. I'm going to get a channeled message for you, Pisces, in just one moment. But first... There's Tarot. Wow, your energy, Pisces, is the Magician. And what's on your mind is the Four of Wands. Let's see what's coming towards you. The Knight of Pentacles. And what do you think about that? The King of Swords. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers. Very interesting, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Seek out that which you adore, Pisces. Seek out the things that fulfill you and warm your heart. Care for yourself as well. Take pride in yourself and what you know and your capabilities. Your capabilities are increasing. You are more capable than what you realize. Look into what it, what it is that you know, Pisces. You may be surprised at what you find. Okay, thank you. They're showing me a tool belt. So I feel like, I don't know. It's like you have every, it's funny because you're, you're the magician, that's your energy. And that is having everything that you need in order to manifest what you want. And I feel like there's things within you that you don't even realize you have, or maybe you do, but you're just taking it for granted and you're not realizing you can utilize these gifts. Okay. All right, so the magician is your energy. So yeah, you know you have everything you need in order to manifest your world. Why is the magician here? Let's see. Let's see. Why is the magician here for Pisces? One more. So we have the sun. We have the seven of cups. And we have the nine of pentacles. Oh, I love it. I feel like it's here because you're thinking about what your dreams are. You're thinking about all of your options. I don't feel like you're letting it or allowing it to confuse you. I feel like you're shining a light on what is the most important dreams that you have within these cups. Which ones do you want to manifest first? And I feel like you're very excited about it. And you're stepping into your power knowing that you can create this. Being very confident in what you can create. And independent. And abundant. I feel like you're feeling abundant. You're feeling lighthearted. You're bringing down walls here with the sun. Becoming emotionally vulnerable. I also feel like you're calling in a soulmate here. 
That's what I'm feeling from that. Okay, so what's on your mind is the four of wands is your stability is it could be marriage for some of you is happiness overall happiness that's what i'm getting with the four of wands you want it all king of cups and you can have it all princess of pentacles and the six of swords yeah you're wanting peace you may be thinking about moving moving houses Thinking about what seeds you're going to plant out of these cups here. And also thinking about love and tapping into your intuition. I'm also getting with the King of Cups. What's coming towards you is the Knight of Pentacles. So it could be an earth sign that's coming towards you, Pisces. Let's see. Okay. It's coming towards Pisces. We have the Justice card, Twin Flame card of mine. So is this in this deck, the Two of Pentacles. One more the knight of pentacles and the empress so it could be a taurus or a libra that's coming towards you this person for some of you it may be a twin they're very balanced in their masculine and feminine i feel like they're very intuitive very creative i'm getting autonomous and strong they're very strong and independent here sort of a um yeah like a nine of uh pentacles vibe which makes sense this is sort of pre-empress energy anyway let's see what they think about you what is this empress it could be an emperor it's just feminine energy think about my pisces here how does my empress feel about pisces yeah. strength they see you as strong ace of swords and that's what i feel like you're mirroring off of each other this strength and the queen of cups which is funny because you came out as the king of cups this may indeed be your divine counterpart here so i feel like they're clear like aha there you are i've been waiting for you almost or i've been looking for you type of thing because they instantly feel a connection. They instantly feel a heart connection. Their intuition is going off. They feel that strength that emanates from you. And I feel there's a recognition of the mirror. That's what I'm feeling with them. So your response, which is interesting, is the king of swords. So this is telling me that you're most likely an emperor or an empress, right? You're just in your masculine energy right now, I feel, because you're manifesting, you're wishing to manifest. So I do feel uh, predominantly masculine energy here. But you're interested. I feel like you're intrigued by this empress. You're wanting to learn more about this empress or emperor. You're wanting to communicate a lot. And I also feel like yeah, Four of Swords. You're appreciating their intelligence, I'm getting. The Judgment card. There is a soul recognition on your part as well. Princess of Cups. So you're not going to open up your heart wholly to this Emperor or Empress here. You're going to take your time, I feel, because you're... You're not going to communicate your heart space yet. Not really. A little bit, but not really. Because I feel like you're making sure that you're healed from the past relationship. You don't want to jump in with both feet. It's like you're going to dip your toe. There is a soul recognition here. You're wanting to make sure that you're fully reconciling with your soul here. Three of Pentacles. This is how this person feels about you. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands. So I feel like they can feel within you that you're trying to make a decision to go down a path with them or not. They feel like they can work well with you together as a team. You may work with this individual and do something together 
if you're divine counterparts, that makes sense. But they have a lot of passion towards you. This is the eight hours of love. They know that their heart is with you. And I feel like they're being patient and waiting for your, not recognition, because you do recognize this within them, your willingness to open up a little bit more. So what is your advice here, Pisces? The Five of Swords. They're wanting you to look at your ego. Yeah. And connect with your passionate space here. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. See, you're going to have to walk away from things that you're holding on to, okay? And it is connected to your ego, all right? Uh, so you're on the right track. Your intuition is telling you you need to heal a little bit more. And I do feel that you do. There are things that you need to walk away from. But I wouldn't totally ignore this person. Just take it slow. And it could be why the Knight of Pentacles is there. But I do feel that this person is going to recognize that you need to take this slow. And they're going to be patient. They're going to they're gonna wait. They're wanting you to, yeah, Ace of Cups, give this person a chance. Go slow, as slow as you want with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of passion between you. This is a wish fulfillment, okay? So let's get a animal totem here. Messages from the animal spirits to see which one. Oh, you got two. You should call in this weekend. Ladybug. This is a time of good fortune in abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Absolutely. Okay, don't be afraid to bring down those walls and fully receive. Polar bear. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. So if you're feeling that you need to take this slow, don't be afraid to speak this to this individual. I feel like they will be open and fully understanding as to what it is you're wanting from this uh, development of this relationship, okay? All right, Pisces, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great weekend and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste Pisces.